Down is on to the solar eclipse on Monday. Seven so Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson has some of the best spots in the Detroit area to view the eclipse. She's standing by. I assume you're going to be in one of them there, right? Yeah, I'm actually at the Cranbrook Institute right now. This is one of the spots that will be hosting an event on Monday. And as you can see, not only is there a planetarium here, but the property is sprawling, plenty of sidewalks, lots of grass, lots of lawn. And when you're considering where you want to view the solar eclipse, you really want to think about the environment that you want. Do you want to be off kind of by yourself in the city, surrounded by lots of people? Do you have small children that need to be entertained as you're watching the eclipse? I found a lot of options here in Metro Detroit. Here are a few of the highlights. It's the first time in a century the United States will be darkened by the moon eclipsing the sun. The Detroit area will see an 80% eclipse. Okay, this is the polar axis of this one, so it points north. Cliff Jones has witnessed this rare event before, and he's ready to help others experience it at the Volbrecht Planetarium, adjacent to the Morris Adler Elementary School in a Southfield neighborhood. Their event on Monday is free, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. We're going to have activities in the front, which will be the pinhole camera, the uh, funnel tube to look at the sun that way. We'll have a pair of giant binoculars. He and other astronomy enthusiast volunteers will have several telescopes and eclipse viewing glasses available for just a dollar. They'll also be live streaming the NASA total eclipse feed in the dome. Plus, they're snacks. We're going to have solar lemonade and we're going to have eclipse cookies, which I got to get busy on. <laughs> If you're looking for more action to break up the two hour solar event, try Zip the Eclipse at Adventure Park at West Bloomfield from 1 to 4 p.m. Climbers will be able to zip through the night sky zip tunnel, jump with cows over the moon, and the first 100 people will be given solar eclipse glasses. Actual viewing will take place on the lawn and in the parking lot. For more science-based activities and fun, Michigan Science Center astronomers will be on hand with several telescopes. Those are going to be really exciting because one of them will actually have a camera hooked up to it so that people can see. Uh, they don't have to put their eye up to it. We don't have to take turns one by one. We'll actually be able to project what that camera physically is seeing on site. They'll also have free viewing glasses to hand out, activities and access to the entire museum. Plus, they'll be streaming the total eclipse on the big screen down in our newly renovated Toyota Engineering 4D Theater. Now, Cranbrook Institute here says they're practically all out of glasses. They've sold over a thousand, so you'll have to bring your own if you want to come here. A number of libraries throughout the area are holding events. They have glasses to hand out, and 99.5 is holding an Eclipse the Park event in Taylor. We're going to have all of those, plus a few more, on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson. Back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you so much. A lot of people want to watch that eclipse. Just be careful.